Hey everyone, in this video we'll be learning about .NET MAUI image circle using CSAP and we'll be adding the click event handlers too for that uh, image circle so you can see whenever I click on this image then uh, a nice little pop-up will display that you have clicked the frame and you can uh, use this to navigate to other screens or whatever as you like so here I am using the CSAP language to get this feature so let's Let's get started with the blank .NET MAUI application. So here you can see we have a .NET MAUI application, and uh, here that is our main page.xml is loaded whenever our application starts. So now what we are going to do is we are going to first of all create a new uh, page that is uh, a CSAP page, which will help us to get the CSAP template for our .NET MAUI project. So this is a content page that I'll be selecting and then here i'll just uh, type image circle circle page that is our csap content page we'll just add it now here you can see we have a just a uh, blank .NET maui uh, ui page uh, which now will be loaded whenever our application starts so here in order to initialize uh, our main page we have our app cell which will encapsulate all the uis so what i'm going to do is inside our app cell dot jaml i'll just place that page name so this is what that is our image circle page and now inside our image circle page we'll be creating the uh, image circle ui and along with that all the gesture recognizer that we'll be adding so here uh, we have a label so at first i'm just going to quickly create frame so uh, i'll just remove everything we don't want anything because we want that vertical stack layout uh, children is uh, telling that the vertical stack layout children is frame now uh, we'll be adding another plugin name as um, uh, manage nuget package and uh, here we'll be using the csap uh, uh, nuget that is our maui community toolkit so we'll be adding it and uh, in my previous video too i have already mentioned about uh, our csap uh, how to use and uh, which plugin need to be used which make our life easier so i'll just copy this line of code because we want this line of code and add it over here so i'll just add that over here and then i'll just remove this uh, builder because we have already added that builder variable over here at top so as soon as i'll just remove that also so uh, here it get initialized from the top name space that is our maui 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 commit toolkit that helps us to write the uh, csap code in our dotnet maui project and now what we are going to actually do uh, over here is uh, we'll be just decorating a, a frame add the frame with the image and then clip it so well, first of all the frame uh, is going to have uh, the height so a height is uh, near about i'll just use uh, the community toolkit markup so here you can see i'm just using it uh, and if, the, if it does not get navigated to means uh, if the suggestion does not come then you need to add this line of code over here at top here i'll just add a height of uh, for 150 and then i'll just go along dot uh let me go over here so height is 150 margin uh from the left and right and top and bottom i'll just put margin of 20 and then you can just put margin or not it depends upon you okay we just don't want that also central horizontal dot uh dot vertical uh vertical horizontal also because center center horizontal and center vertical is another option that we get inside uh, uh, the package and uh, padding of we can just add padding of frame to two or anything as you like you can play around with this uh, property and width of uh, uh, 150 because we want the width of the frame to be 150 and height of 150 i'll let you know why i have made uh, that 150 height and uh, now inside the frame uh, what we basically have is uh, border color border color border color to see colors you colors dot red because we need to denote that uh, it is a border color background color of that frame to colors i really like cornflower blue 
and then uh, uh, this is the major property that we need to be added that is is clip uh, to bounce is really important for clipping the image clip to bound as true and then uh, what we are actually going to do is uh, corner radius so here corner radius equals to 75 that means uh, we need to divide the height of the frame by 2 so that we get the corner radius of the frame uh, and that is what uh, will make our uh, whole frame to a circle then uh, what we are going to do is we are going to now add the frame with the image so in order to do that here we have another property for our uh, frame that is cont and content so content equals new image and then with the curly braces we are going to uh, add a new, new control inside the frame so here uh, we can add new label a new take uh, entry field and uh, anything inside the frame too so it depends upon your need what you really want to add so here uh, let me put it over here and click on insert and then uh, remove this line of code over here now the image uh, source will be uh, something that will be using it uh, from our resources folder aspect of that image will be aspect uh, fit then uh, what we will be using is height request of the image so height request here is really important for the image to height request with request of the image to be 150 and source of the image will just uh, use it from our uh, downloaded folder because uh, you can just download any image as you like so i'm just going to the downloads and we'll see if i have uh, any image yeah so here we have one image uh, that I'll be putting it inside the resources folder. So let's go to the let me just expand it because it does not automatically expand. So inside the images, uh, we'll just add one uh, uh, image that is our stock photo. So this is what we'll just add it. And actually, I need to go over here. So source equals to image source, image source dot from file. Okay so uh, here we'll be adding uh, the uh, stock stock photo dot jpg right so here we'll be adding stock photo dot jpg as a uh, children of that vertical stack layout now after this we'll be implementing the click handler let's see whether uh, we are now able to get that circle image uh, uh, with the frame or not All right, the application just now got loaded and here you can see uh, we have the image and a circle frame and here we need to add an image to aspect fit that's why i have made as a as aspect fit that means it will fit to the screen now if we fill it then it will just fill up the whole entire screen so we basically got our whole um, circle with the image so now i'll just change it to aspect fill okay so it fills the whole area now what we are going to actually do is uh, now let's create uh, another way of adding now let's um, uh, add the tab gesture recognizer to the frame so that is whenever the frame is clicked right so in order to do that uh, we basically have to now create a object for that frame that is a requirement as of now so in order to do that we are going to now here you can see i have just basically uh, uh like uh, lift that code from here that is our children and put it above because we really want another uh, uh like a variable for the frame so frame obj so you can see over here just creating a frame object okay uh, and uh, that is what we actually need so we don't need to copy we have to copy it over here at top okay so here we have basically created a frame object which will be acting as like the children of this particle stack layout just like this you can see i'll just copy and paste it over here and i'll just put a semicolon over here that means now this uh, object that we have created that is a frame that is a view uh, like a uh, control and uh, that is uh, added to the children of this stack layout that means one layout is going to encapsulate a frame object as a children 
so that is what it really means now it would be easy for us to add the tab gesture recognizer so if you have another way of adding the tab gesture recognizer let me know i'll just add tab gesture area over here and then uh, here i'll just add tab gesture recognizer space that is what we really need okay so we'll just create tab gesture recognizer uh, dot tapped we'll just create a tapped uh, even handler over here plus equals then a sync we need to add the sender this one and uh, this is how we gonna uh, create our tab gesture recognizer event handler so th that is what we really need so tab gesture area now what it really means is that we have basically right now created a tab gesture recognizer that means when what happens whenever uh, this frame is tapped so in order to uh, make this frame clickable we need to add another line of code that helps to do uh, like help us to generate that uh, uh, tab gesture so in order to do that we'll just use the frame object frame object dot gesture recognizer dot add so this is what the line of code means okay so actually i need to add it over here then uh, we need to uh, copy the object of that tab gesture recognizer so that uh, this object is now added with the tab gesture recognizer with this uh, the help of this object okay and this frame is going to be added as a children of this particular stack layout this might be grid this might be another stack layout or any layout that you have uh, basically over there uh, for your uh, ui requirement now here i'll just add await app dot current dot main page dot display alert so this is where the call uh, uh, click handler will uh, uh, basically uh, basically work alert comma uh, this is where your ui got your ui frame got clicked and then click on ok that is it so uh, we have successfully implemented the tab gesture area and uh, this is our uh, ui uh, so control object object area and then this is where uh, this is the place place where parent uh, that is our vertical style stack layout stack layout gets its children children that, that is it now let's run the application all right so our application got started and now whenever i click on it and you can see a beautiful uh, a pop-up will come up telling that this is where your uh, ui frame got clicked that is what uh, we got, ex uh, got the expected output that is all for this uh, tutorial thank you guys thanks for watching keep in touch for next tutorials